There it is. Dude, that was the biggest bass of the day so far. Oh my goodness. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I really hope you enjoyed the last episode where I was going back and forth with the knee doctor, getting my MRI and catching some fish. But in today's episode, we're doing a little throwback, back to when my daughter had braces and she looked like a little kid. Now she's a little more grown up and she's gonna be super embarrassed that I'm even showing this video, but it was too much fun not to share with you guys. But check it out, we're gonna be on an airboat in the Everglades with my family, my wife, my son, and my daughter, catching largemouth bass, seeing alligators, snakes, and all kinds of things. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell because that's the only way you will not miss any upcoming content. Uh, in the next video, I go head to head with my buddy. It wasn't really a competition, but I turned it into a competition just because I'm competitive like that and I wanna make sure I outfish everybody and I don't want I don't want anyone to catch a big, bigger fish than me or anything like that. So you guys know what I'm saying. This girl's passed out. Ready to go fishing? Yes, Daddy, I want to go fishing. Got him. Oh, little guy. Airboat with Miami Everglades Connection. <laughs> We're sliding with Miami Everglades Connection. She's having a little problem with her uh, uh, morning morning voice, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a good time today with Captain Al. What's up, man? What's up, guys? Guys, if you want to experience the Everglades the way it's supposed to be experienced and actually learn something, you need to come check these guys out. Information will be in the description below. The, the rod up. What you got? Got a fish. Hmm? Got a fish? That one? Sweet. Let's see that. He crushed it. Nice. Baby, Go ahead and let him go. Good job. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep, yep. I'm gonna stab somebody. Yep. Woo! Got him! The kicker. Nice baby. chunk. Ah, right by the structure. Uh, yeah. Got him. Nice.
Daddy. Daddy. Good job. Oh, I just saw the hook. Ah, baby. On the retrieve. Oh man, so I didn't record any of that. No, I got nope. that. Oh. Here. Oh, here. Is, Is it recording right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, alligator. Give me my fish. Man. Oh, he got a fish in the alligator. Oh, that was the biggest bass of the day so far. Oh my goodness. That is a big fish in the gator mouth. Yo, that was insane. <laughs> we tried to, we tried to get over there to save the bass, but by the time we got to this little stick here, that gator came across from over there and just crushed them. I thought it was recording on this uh, GoPro on my head, but uh, no dice. R.I.P. Mr. Bass, because that was a lunker. These spotted dark lilies actually have a bonnet worm in them. Not every single one of them, but you see like this one has a hole. This one's already started to kind of like mud it up. There's probably a little one in there right now. And these don't have the hole. But the, uh, the purple gallinules, it's his bird that we're going to see. Beautiful bird. They actually grab the side of it, they make a hole on it, and they pull that worm out of it. Let me see this one. Oh, it looks like it's been picked already, I think. There it is. That's a bonnet worm there. The birds pluck the hole in the side yeah, and just pull it out? Yeah, they rip it on the side. Right. Now this spatter dock lily, being that it's not native to us, we can't pull this out. Okay. You cannot pull anything native in the Everglades. And he's off. <laughs> so that's the female. Too these cool. are these are these are grackles. Alright, so they're both grackles. Yeah, they're both grackles. Spin around, alright guys? Yep. Got him. Got him. Look at that with the green cover. And another one. bumps on their back. What do you think that's made out of? Bone, cartilage, skin. 
So those things right there are called scoops. They're actually round, they're round bone plate, really, really, really thick bone. And then it's got that little ridge on top of it. And it serves almost like a solar panel. So when they're out of the water, getting sun, it's not a Miami thing that everybody has to sun, sun tan or whatever. Actually, it's absorbing the heat of the sun to keep them warm. And also, it helps them digest their food as well. Everglades fishing, baby. You had fun? Yep. What is what are some of the things you got to see today? I saw a bunch of alligators, some bass, some Oscars, some gars. That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Alright, so it was an awesome day today. I know Giselle, you had a good time? Jaden's over there, he started the car because it's it's pretty hot out here. Al, if anybody wants to book a trip with you and with your company, tell them how to get in contact with you. Well, we got the website, www dot Miami Everglades Connection. Also, we have an Instagram with the same name, Miami Everglades Connection, as well as Facebook. I will put the links in the description below. That way, if you guys are ever down here in Miami, you need to book a trip because this is really how you need to experience the Everglades. Just walking through the Everglades, that's only part of it. But going out, riding through the river of grass, it's an amazing, almost a spiritual experience. So I say, if you're down here, you have to book these guys. Check them out. Lexi, what else should they do? Subscribe and hit that notification button. Yeah, subscribe and hit that notification button. All right, guys, see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, tight lines.